Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me for story time today. Happy Friday. Happy day for story time. For me today, it's the last day of school, so kind of bittersweet because it's been a, a strange, a very strange end of the school year um, since March. Everything that school has been different, but um, I wanted to share my, finally got my original art um, back so that I can show you what the original art um, looks like for Jesse's Indigestible Incident. I'm gonna read this book to you today, uh, but before I do, I'm gonna show you what the actual um, original art looks like before it was made into a book. So this is the size of the book. And when you look, um, these actual pictures that open up are actually this size. So let me go through and show you what I mean. So here, this is the cover art. And of course on the cover it's smaller. But here's another a page that opens up. another one. I'm not going to show you every single one, but I do have some absolute favorites. As I go through and read the book, sometimes I stop and say how and comment how much I really love this particular um, illustration. But an experienced children's book illustrator really knows you know, they storyboard so they figure out what text is going to basically go with which pictures, but they leave uh, space in their um, art for the actual text. I love the blue ones, just so pretty on the blue paper. I'm getting to my favorite one. I wonder if you can figure it out already because I have commented before. I said I wasn't going to show all of them to you, and look at me. I always comment on this one because I feel like the hippo, the velvet hippo is cute, so cute. Um, okay, I'll go through the, I'll show you my favorite one. So when I get to reading it, you'll see, and I'll point it out again when I'm in the book. This is the favorite. <laughs> So in the book, um, you'll see as I read it to you, Jessie um, has to have surgery because she has a sock stuck in her um, intestines, actually. But um, when she wakes up after her surgery, they really wanted her to eat to get everything in her digestive system moving again because she, when she had her surgery, obviously she was... Um, she was put out and everything stops and then they have to make sure everything's going again and uh, For this particular book her she actually had a complete bowel resection I don't know if you've ever heard of that or have any idea what that is But they literally had to cut out part of her intestine and then like sew it back together So it was very important for her to start eating again after her surgery before she was able to come home but um, in her mind everything looked like socks but they were trying to feed her all kinds of things that she liked, but they all ended up in her mind looking like socks. So this is, again, a favorite of mine. So, and then of course the, the close-up ones and the, and the end, so. Okay, so anyway, so this is just a little bit of a insight as to what um, the original art looks like in a book. So, very cool. Here we go. Jesse's Indigestible Incident. Well, hello. Remember me? I'm sure you do. I'm that gorgeous celebrity that everyone who's anyone is talking about. That's right. I'm Jesse. No, I'm the one with the lopsided ears, one up and one down, and a cute beauty mark on my nose and chest. Still no? 
have my own special style when I walk. It's almost like dancing. A little bit of walking, a little bit of wagging my beautiful tail. Let's call it waggling. Just another of my unique talents. Still don't remember? Where have you been? Hmm, I know, I know. I'm the one with the funny whiskers, one side black, the other white. I knew you'd remember me. How could you not remember the gorgeous pit bull with the pink feather boa? There is no other, just little old exceptional me. On with my story. Ever since my mom found me at the shelter, I've had this little issue where I gobble my food. I don't know why, but nobody, and I mean nobody, is going to eat my food. Probably comes from having to eat whatever I could find when I lived on the streets. Well, on this particular day, I refused to eat anything. My mom knew something was wrong because, well, me not eating. So she took me to the veterinarian. Let's just call him the vet. Much easier. Now, I don't like to go to the vet's office. Don't get me wrong, he's nice and all. I just don't like that he has to pay attention to the other dogs. I mean, I'm Jesse. Help me. Why does he have to be nice to the others? I'm Jesse. Enough said. When we got there, I tried to give my usual hello by wagging my tail, but I couldn't get my wag up to speed. It just sort of flopped from side to side. He offered me a nice little treat, but I refused to have anything to do with it. Again, not something I would normally do. I love treats. They walked me from the exam room to the back of the hospital where they had this machine that could look at my insides. They called it an x-ray. It could tell if something was wrong in there, but he said nothing looked strange. If you ask me, Looking at someone's insides is strange all by itself. They sent us home. I still didn't feel like eating. Mom tried beef and rice? Nope. She tried feeding me boiled chicken? Nope. She even tried Alaskan cod, my most, most is very favorite food in the whole world. Still no. So the very next day, it was back to the emergency pet hospital. It was horrible. Mom cried because she was so worried. I was getting weak. I didn't even want to drink water. This is where it gets a little embarrassing. Mom had to carry me because I could hardly stand up. The emergency vet wanted to, to do something called a surgery. He thought I had something in my insides that caused an infection. Now, I don't know what a surgery is and I don't know what an infection is. All I knew was that I didn't feel good. I wanted to go home. When they admitted me to the hospital, they wrote American Pit Bull Terrier on my paperwork. Not this again. We're just like any other dog. Most of us are just happy to have someone to love. One of the techs had a pit bull at home. She was extra nice. She called me a velvet hippo. She said it was a nickname for pit bulls because our hair is so soft and shiny, like velvet. Also, our big heads and short squatty bodies make us kind of look like a hippopotamus. I like hippos, even though I never saw one, a real one anyway. I don't see the resemblance, at least not with me. You think? Anyway, I was hungry, but food just didn't sound good. 
<clears throat> I started thinking about what I had done in the last few days. There was that business card that I ate and that tissue I scarfed from the trash can. Those were no problem. I had eaten plenty of them before. True. A couple of days earlier, I was sniffing around the house, smelling all the smells like I normally do. I found this extra stinky sock in the clothes hamper. Now I love to chew on soft things. That's why all the blankets in our house have holes in them. This sock was one of mom's. I could smell her and it was extra soft. I picked it up with my mouth and out the door I ran. Sometimes mom sees me with socks and just as I start to get them down my throat, she pulls them out. I know it's a bad habit, but I can't be entirely perfect, can I? This time I got away with it. I swallowed the sock whole. That must be what is making me sick. That nice little extra stinky sock was stuck inside me. I got to thinking about other things I had eaten. There was that $20 bill on the table, that came out, and that stinky glove in the garden I chewed the fingers and thumb off. They all came out. I even ate a part of the TV remote. That came out too. Somehow they had all come out. Why was this sock making me feel so sick? The next thing I remember was the text petting and talking to me. They were so nice. I must have fallen asleep. When I woke up, I felt different. I had tubes attached to my paws and all of my beautiful hair was gone from my belly. And I had small silver lines all over my tummy. They kind of looked like jewelry. Is that what I look like under my hair? What happened while I was asleep? Surgery? Anyway, I was very tired and I still didn't want to eat. They offered me boiled chicken? No. They offered me beef and rice? No. They didn't have any Alaskan cod, so they offered me canned cat food? Now that is so stinky, I usually can't resist, but not this time. Here comes. Everything they offered me looked like socks. Socks in a bowl, yummy, not. Chicken was white socks, the beef and rice were striped socks, and the cat food was brown socks. Yuck, I was not going to eat a bowl of socks. Ew. The tech took me out of my cage and we slowly and carefully walked down the hall to a small room. I had to be careful because I still had that tube taped to my paw and all that jewelry on my tummy was not comfortable at all. Once we got into the room, guess what? My mom was there. She was so happy to see me. I couldn't jump up, so I just wagged my tail as best I could. I held my gorgeous ears back so she could pet my face. She put a bowl of something on the floor and sat right there next to me. She was petting me and talking to me and guess what? In the bowl was my favorite, you guessed it, Alaskan cod. 
My mom brought Alaskan cod to the emergency hospital for me. I forgot all about the bowls of socks they tried to feed me. Suddenly, I felt better. I ate everything in the bowl while mom was talking away. It was really nice to hear her voice. Aw, she sure loves you, the text said. I thought, yes, yes, I do. Even more than I love Alaskan cod. I walked out of there with a little extra wiggle in my waggle, probably because of all that jewelry. When we got home, I noticed we had a new clothes hamper. One where the lid snapped shut. Thank goodness. Well, I guess that's the end of my sock tail. Next time I'll tell you about another one of my adventures. All right, she sure had indigestion, didn't she? All right, well, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful day. I will be reading again in a week, so plan on tuning in on Fridays at 10 o'clock Pacific time. Jesse the Pit Mix. You can watch all the videos that I've recorded on Jesse's YouTube channel, also called Jesse the Pit Mix. Thanks again. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.